Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen news. We're just going to be talking about what's been happening over the last few days and what we've got to look forward to in the coming few. Alpha 3.24, it is about to go live. At least that's the way it looks. It's open PTU at the moment. Clan Imperium are plowing through, trying to get as many bugs and optimizations in as possible. I do want to apologize, actually. I've got a reasonable echo at the moment because I'm kind of on holiday. There's lots of people in the house and I've had to close the door. It's not, it's not the best acoustics, so apologies for that. Anyway, 3.24. Yeah, they're sort of um, testing some bits and bobs more with the blockade runner missions. I think they um, there's a couple of things that they're trying to get there balance-wise, but they seem to be functional and everything for the most part. They've had to put a few hot fixes in uh, with the latest build because there were some problems, but I think it's quite likely that we will have that build live by the end of this month, if not very, very early next. From the Star Citizen newsletter, they said, Alpha 3.24 is now open to all backers in the public test universe, the PTU. Hop into the PTU now to experience all the new cargo content. Persistent personal hangers, freight elevators, hangar decorations, and more. Plus, the Elite 8 have arrived. Make sure to vote each day on your favorite ship to see who makes it to the final four of the ship showdown. So yeah, th this is running at the moment. What ships have made it to the top eight? So we had the C1 Spirit going against the Mercury to start with, the C1 Spirit one. We had the STV versus the Urza Medivac, the Urza Medivac one. Uh, we had the 890 Jump versus the 600i. Uh, the 600i won that. The Terrapin versus the Gladiator, the Terrapin won. The Fury LX versus the M50, the Fury LX is the winner there. The Reclaimer versus the Vulture, the Reclaimer won. The Sulen versus the Defender, Sulen won. And the F8C Lightning versus the F7C Hornet Mark II, and the F8C Lightning won that one. I think, personally, that the F8C Lightning will win uh, the ship showdown, but we'll have to wait and see. The, the C1 is going to be pretty high up on that list. So, in round two, we do have uh, the C1 Spirit going against the Urza Medivac, and that has already been declared as a C1 Spirit victory. Um, and now we've got the 600i versus the Terrapin, and then it will be the Fury versus the Reclaimer, and the Sulen versus the F8C. Um, the top four ships there will have stuff made for them at the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo in November. So, like, you get a skin and, and then some flair. If you own those ships, you get those items for free. I really think that they should expand out the ship showdown, basically double its size. Have it running for like a whole month or just over. There's a load more ships that should have been uh, in the ship showdown, maybe a load more categories as well. Things like the Carrack and the Corsair and the Cutlass Black, um, or any of the Cutlasses, they would have been a particularly sort of um, popular. I am really interested to know what your favourite ship is. Please tell me in the comments below. And who do you think is going to win the ship showdown? I do want to draw your attention to Toby Eye Trackers being on sale at the moment. So if you want some high precision eye and head tracking in Star Citizen, then check them out. They work for other games as well. They've got a load of cool features. You can use the links down below. Um, yeah, 20% off at the moment. CIG were at Gamescom. Um, over the weekend and I'm going to try and dig in and look around to see if there any people have got interesting information that they know that the devs had said and um, we'll do like a, a little video on that once we know a bit more. It was like a CIG presence at Gamescom sort of they, they were walking around rather than having a store there or anything and there was some bar citizens but quite often you can get some interesting information from the devs there. Inside Star Citizen in the last week was uh, Gavin Rothery. They basically talked to him. He is the longest running vehicle concept artist for um, Star Citizen. He's been involved in a huge range of ships. Talking about ships, there have been some leaks about the Aegis ship that we're expecting in 3.2. 24. I'll do a video separate about that so that we can put all the spoilers into a single video. But we need a new, new Aegis ship is turning up. We're expecting, well, we, we know that because we've, we've seen the teasers actually, and uh, that it's a Sabre Raven variant. But there's also sneak peeks in the newsletter for the last couple of weeks. They have been teasing what appears to be a new MISC ship. Now, we know there are a load of ships that are going to be coming out between now and the end of the year with 3.24, but also with the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, CitizenCon, and 4.0. And although I'm going to do a 
dedicated video on a load of ship updates and digging more into the roadmap. I do want to talk about this here. So the roadmap has been updated with a bit more information this time. So they've actually started showing off the stuff from the progress tracker again, tracking what the individual dev teams are doing, which is super important for me because I love that information. I want to follow the development of Star Citizen. I want us uh, to have as much information as possible at any given time. So a load of stuff that is tracked on there is things like base building is on there and it sort of cuts off at early uh, January 2025. But yeah, we can see a load of the stuff that they are working on now and it looks likely that we're going to be getting all of the sort of Hornet Mark II variants all um, turning up as well. So like the Super Hornet Mark II, all that sort of stuff, probably by the end of the year, although they might push it into um, sort of Fleet Week next year based on, you know, marketing and all that sort of jazz. But we know there are things like a Crusader starter ship. Well, I say we know um, that's that's the rumor. John Crew rumored it though. So, and there are just loads of other unannounced ships and vehicles that they are working on. But yeah, I think we can expect a pretty big Intergalactic Aerospace Expo this year. They've also adjusted the release window for Alpha 4.0 to be Q4 of this year. So it was what we expected, but it still doesn't answer. Is this a patch that's going to be turning up around CitizenCon or just by end of year, mid-December? Oh yeah, I almost forgot as well. They added a new feature to 4.0. Uh, it's the sort of new missions for repair and um, sort of those FPS missions around outposts in Pyro, which will propagate to other areas eventually, but you'll be going around on foot in FPS, sort of repairing pipes and replacing components and doing sort of engineering gameplay at outposts almost. Boom! That's it for your Star Citizen news updates today. I'm really interested in knowing, are you enjoying Alpha 3.24? I've not played the latest patch because I've been a little bit busy. Um, so I, I've only been looking at other people's comments for that and actually the patch notes and everything. So um, it looks to me like it's relatively stable. I know they had to do some emergency hot fixes and things like that for the build. Uh, but now uh, it looks like it's uh, it's on, sort of on track. But um, uh, please tell me if that is not the case or you're having a terrible time with it or whatever. But um, from what I can tell, it looks like we will have that patch released by the end of the month or very close to that um, but uh, yeah uh, I'm excited for 4.0 are you are you looking forward to CitizenCon do you expect 4.0 to be released by CitizenCon by the end of the year or oh, it's obviously going to be delayed are you excited for any of those new ships or rumors around them whatever your thoughts or questions please chuck them in the comments below and tell me what you think that misc looking ship is as well you stand at the pearly gates. The winged being there weighs your sins against the weight of a feather. You are found wanting. Not a problem for NordVPN.com slash BoardGamer though. Just change your location. Boom! You're in! Bypass your sin. Get NordVPN.com slash BoardGamer. Probably not a tagline that Nord wants. Bypass your sin. But that's what they're getting. Maybe they want one about its added security, privacy, or accessibility. Pah! Everyone knows that. You get that at touch of a button. Click these links below to get great deals on that VPN service. Every month we give away a ship. And this month of August is all about your favorite ships because it's the ship showdown. My favorite ship is the Mercury Star Runner. And I don't want to give one of those away, but I will. It's a fantastic little multi-role, multi-crew ship. It's got a bit of cargo space. It's got room for a little vehicle. It's got a good amount of firepower, perfect little mission runner. In the future, it's going to have data running. It's good for smuggling. It's got lots of secret little hidey holes. I absolutely love this ship. All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning that is comment on any of my videos made during August. Also, I would love to know what your favorite ship is. If you would like to further support the channel, consider just commenting or liking, subscribing. That all helps. But also there's the join button under my videos. That goes a huge way to allow us to make daily content on Star Citizen. There's also Patreon, sharing the videos, direct donations. There's links to all of that down below. Thank you so much for watching to the end. You take care and have a great day.